If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Well done, Caillou. Thanks, Daddy. Now it's my turn to play the song. You sure you don't want me to show you the notes one more time? I watched you play them all week. I'm ready to play. Yes, you are. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy uh, and you... <laughs> <laughs> you might want to just practice playing the notes for now. No singing or clapping? Not yet. But once you remember how to play the notes, doing everything all together will be easy. Caillou was determined to practice the song until he could play it and sing it and clap it for Mummy and Daddy. Rosie, please stop banging that drum. Okay. trying to practice his song. It'll be a lot easier for him if you don't make any loud noises. Okay. <laughs> when you're happy, Rosie, happy, happy, happy. Those aren't the words. Words? <sighs> That's how the song starts. The rest of the words are different. <laughs> I promise I'll teach them to you later, if you promise not to sing while I'm practicing. Will she no sing? That's right. No singing. Put the pots away now. Delighted. Rosie was being very quiet. Just like she had promised to be. Caillou tried to ignore Rosie's dancing, but it was very hard. 
he was beginning to feel frustrated. <laughs> Rosie, <laughs> stop it! Rosie, no dance? Rosie, no dance. I'll never learn my song if you keep doing stuff. Can't you go somewhere else and leave me alone? Did I miss the big concert? It's just about to start. Where's Rosie? She's going to miss my song. I'm afraid she's still in her room. Caillou suddenly wondered if he had hurt Rosie's feelings. I'll go get her. Ding, ding, ding. Like me? Caillou had thought that Rosie was trying to bother him while he was practicing. Now he realized she just wanted to join his music fun. I'm sorry for telling you to leave me alone, Rosie. I think I know how to make it up to you. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you're really Marvelous. Bravo! Bravo! Great show, you two. Well done. <laughs> Letting Rosie join your concert was a wonderful idea, Caillou. Rosie, play song! Yes, you did. Caillou was proud of his sister, and he was proud of himself for including Rosie in his concert. to play follow the leader. <laughs> because it meant everyone could play together. <laughs> <laughs> now hop backwards. Well, almost everyone. Andy was new to Caillou's preschool, and he wasn't joining in the fun. Uh, oh, sorry, Andy. Do you want to play follow the leader? No. Andy lives on my street. I ask him to play at the park, but he never wants to play. Really? Why? I don't know. Caillou didn't believe that Andy didn't want to play. Everybody liked to play with friends. Hi, Andy. Do you want to do a puzzle with me? No. What are you drawing? Nothing. I'm just trying to be friends. I don't want to be friends. I don't want to be friends either. Caillou was upset. His feelings were hurt by what Andy said. And he was still upset about it later that night. Dinner's almost ready, Caillou. My goodness. Why the long face? Long face? That means, why do you look so sad? Andy at preschool doesn't like me. Really? Did he tell you that? He said he didn't want to play with me and didn't want to be my friend. So I said I didn't want to be his friend either. But I thought you liked being friends with everybody. Yeah, I do. So you didn't mean it when you said you didn't want to be friends. And maybe Andy didn't really mean what he said either. You need to think about why Andy said what he did. Maybe he just didn't want to play what you were playing. I'm going to keep trying to be friends with Andy. That's my Caillou. determined to be friends with Andy. Hi, Andy. Want to play? No. You don't like soccer? 
what games do you like? I like tag and follow the leader and hide and seek. <sighs> but being Andy's friend was certainly harder than he thought it would be. Caillou? Caillou play? Okay, Rosie. You go set up. I'll be there soon. I want to ask Daddy something. Daddy, how can I find out what someone else is thinking? You could just ask them. But what if they don't talk much? Well, that makes it harder for sure. Hmm. You could try to see things from their point of view. How do you do that? Try to see the world the way that they do. Like you're seeing out of their eyes. Like this? I'm seeing the same way Gilbert does. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Caillou decided to try seeing things from Andy's point of view. Follow me! <laughs> okay! okay. <laughs> Caillou had to admit the other children were pretty loud. Maybe Andy didn't like loud noises. You look like you're thinking hard about something, Caillou. Andy really likes drawing. Yes, he certainly does. He doesn't like running around making noise like the rest of us do. No. Different children like to play in different ways. Caillou suddenly knew how he could be Andy's friend. He would play with Andy the way Andy liked to play. Tag, you're it, Caillou. Thanks, but I don't want to play tag today. I'm it. Here I come. Caillou waited for Andy to talk first. What's that? I'm drawing a castle. You should draw flags. Castles always have flags on top. Oh, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> hey, Caillou. What are you doing? I'm playing follow the leader. Huh? Andy's the leader. pretty sure that he and Andy were friends now, even if they didn't exactly say so in words. Here I come! <laughs> you can't get me! <laughs> gotcha! Now you're it! <laughs> it wasn't easy, but Caillou had made a new friend, and it was wonderful. Be my apple taster, Rosie. Mm. Mommy was beginning to make some delicious apple crisp when oh. Caillou appeared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't be upset, Caillou. Trying to carry that many things is difficult for anybody. I'm not upset about that. I'm upset about Andre's shoes. Why are you upset about Andre's shoes? Because they're worn out, so Andre had to get new ones. And now I don't have anyone to play with. Well, why don't you play with Rosie? Because she's too little to play baseball and hockey. Watch. Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Glove? Okay, Rosie. 
Catch! Caillou wasn't surprised that Rosie didn't know how to catch a ball. See? All right, perhaps Rosie is too little for baseball and hockey. But there are other games she can play. Play dolly? Can you play dolly? But that's all she ever wants to play. I don't want to play dollies today. Well, there must be something else you two can play together. Why don't you give it some thought? Dollies! See what I mean? Maybe you can keep thinking. At least until the apple crisp is ready. Okay, I'll go put my stuff away. Play dolly? I said no, Rosie. Can you play dolly? No more dollies. Caillou was beginning to feel frustrated. He was tired of always playing what Rosie wanted to play. Play dolly, Caillou? Caillou? Caillou! Rosie wondered where Caillou had gone. No sign of Caillou anywhere. <coughs> Just his squeezy frog. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. I don't know where Caillou is. Sorry. <sighs> hmm. Smells like someone's making apple crisp. I'd better make some room for it. <sighs> apple crisp is almost ready. Caillou thought about hiding in the backyard. Then he had a better idea. I think he went out back, dear. Caillou! Caillou was enjoying hiding from Rosie. Shh. Caillou? And Rosie was enjoying looking for Caillou. Caillou! time, Caillou noticed Rosie wasn't looking for him anymore. Where's Rosie, Gilbert? Do you think she stopped looking for me? Ow. 
Rosie. <laughs> Now she'll never find me. Boo! Huh? <laughs> Rosie, find Caillou! <laughs> <laughs> you did, Rosie! <laughs> you sure did! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what are you two doing rolling around on those coats? We were hiding in the closet, Mommy. Rosie's too little to play baseball and hockey, but she's great at hide and seek. <laughs> Rosie, find Caillou! Very good, Rosie. I'm glad you two found something you could play together. Now it's your turn to hide. <laughs> Aren't you two going to have some apple crisp? It's ready. Maybe later. Thank you, Mommy. Ready or not, here I come. When they least expected it, Caillou and Rosie had found a game they could play together. Getting here. You two are certainly excited to have Grandma babysit today. Maybe it has something to do with her promise to bring over something special to eat. Mmm, I wonder what it is. Grandma! Grandma! Grandma's, Grandma's here! Grandma! Grandma's here! Now don't worry. The kids will be just fine. You have a good time golfing. Bye-bye! Goodbye! Be good for Grandma. Okay. Have fun, kids. So, are you ready for some treats? Treats? Yes, please. I went to a special cooking class yesterday and learned all about olives. Did you know they're healthy and delicious? Caillou had never even heard of olives before. He wondered what they tasted like. I made some homemade Italian olive bread. Try some. The olives look like chocolate chips. Yummy! Rosie really liked the bread, so Caillou thought he would like it too. Caillou didn't know what to do. He knew it wasn't polite to spit out his food. So, what do you think? Caillou didn't like the taste of olives, but he didn't know how to tell Grandma. It tastes, um, great. Oh, that's wonderful. I wasn't sure you'd like it, but now that you do, I have lots more olive treats in store for you. Yay! More? Kids, snack time! I hope you like crackers with a special dipping sauce. Can't you just smell the... Olives. Ah! Olives! Caillou didn't want to eat the special dipping sauce, so he came up with a clever way to avoid it. I better go check on the oven. Here, Caillou, help yourself to some more. Caillou, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are we having for dinner? Pizza! Yay! Caillou loved pizza, especially the way Grandma made it. Caillou could hardly wait. Olives? That's right. Your favorite and mine. Olives. <laughs> Rosie, too. Caillou didn't want to eat the pizza, but he couldn't think of a way to tell his grandma. Are you hungry? 
matter, Caillou? No, I, uh, just saw some dirt on the floor and decided to clean it. There, all gone. Whew. Clean plates. How wonderful. Since you both like olives so much, I'll have to make more olive treats in the future. And just wait till you try my special homemade dessert. Caillou didn't like the sound of that. He didn't want to think about what Grandma had in store for him next. <sighs> Doesn't it look yummy? Eat up! Caillou couldn't stand to eat another olive. He realized he needed to tell Grandma how he felt about them. So, who's ready for some dessert? Ozzy, too! I don't like olives! <gasps> I'm sorry, but I don't like the taste. Why didn't you say something before, Caillou? I didn't know how to tell you. And you worked so hard to make us all those treats. Caillou was sure Grandma would be upset with him. <laughs> Oh, Caillou, I'm glad you told me how you feel. Aren't you mad at me? No, everyone has different tastes. You don't like olives, and I don't like beets. To each his own. Besides, I think it's nice that you were worried about my feelings. Caillou was relieved, especially when Grandma revealed her special homemade dessert. Oatmeal cookies! Caillou was delighted. There wasn't a single olive in sight. So, did you have a fun day? Oh, we sure did! Rosie name? You want me to help you put your name on it? Okay. An olive slice? What's that doing in here? Oops. I guess I have some tidying up to do. That day, Caillou learned that he could be honest with Grandma even when it came to her cooking. <laughs> One day, Daddy and Rosie decided to play with some modeling clay, and Rosie was taking charge. Big eyes! Small tail! Big ears! Okay. Space robots flying through space. Space robots looking for aliens. Would you boys like to make something out of clay, too? No, thanks. We're having fun playing space robots. We're looking for aliens. Okay, just take it easy, then. No problem. Space robots, turbo power! Okay, Rosie, here you go. Your very own clay poodle. Be careful, it's still soft. Poodle! What's our next space robot mission, Caillou? Let's explore more planets. Leo and Caillou continue to play space robots upstairs when they almost had a cosmic crash. Sorry, Rosie, but I think it's okay. You know, that poodle looks pretty neat. Rosie Poodle! Woof, woof! <laughs> now our poodle is a guard dog. <laughs> beep, beep. Aliens are in the area. We have to go. <laughs> oh? Alien <laughs> escape! Come back! <laughs> we must pick up the space food. Look! Alien headquarters! 
space poodle needs rescuing. We must escape the aliens' super turbo power! Unfortunately for Caillou, all of his space robot flying made him very dizzy. Whoa! <gasps> I've got it! Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Uh-oh. Caillou was worried. He knew how upset Rosie would be if anything happened to her poodle. And that poodle was squash-a-doodled. Doggy! <gasps> That's right, Rosie. Oh, no! It's Rosie! Quick, hide it! Caillou and Leo tried their best to keep Rosie from entering the room. Rosie Poodle? Uh, uh, you can't come in, human! It is not safe. Aliens everywhere. Danger! Code Red, stay away! Rosie want Poodle! Who wants to go to the park? Me, me, me! Rosie, Rosie! We're gonna stay here with Mommy. Whew, that was close. But what are we gonna do? Rosie will be so upset if she finds out we broke her poodle. Caillou and Leo came up with a plan to solve their problem. Let's make another poodle, just like the one we broke. Yeah, maybe Rosie won't even notice. The boys got to work on making a new poodle dog for Rosie. What do you think? It doesn't look like a poodle. It looks like a half-elephant, half-poodle. It's an elephant poodle <laughs> The boy's creation seemed to get wackier and wackier. That's not a poodle. It's a hippopotamonkey. <laughs> and the boy's giggling got louder and louder. <laughs> it's a lion noodle! <laughs> <laughs> the boys tried one more time to make a poodle. Ta-da! It looks like a poodle. Um, well, sort of. It doesn't look anything like the one Daddy made with Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Mommy! How was the poodle? Oh, no! Rosie's back! Hurry! We need to get this poodle back in front of her dollhouse. If you space robots need to refuel, I made some space lemonade. Animals! Indeed! Some very interesting animals. Hey there. Uh, is there something wrong, Caillou? Caillou felt bad about trying to trick Rosie with their poodle. He decided to do the right thing. We were having fun with our space robots, but we got a little carried away, and, and, and we squished Rosie's clay poodle. We tried to make a new one, but it's not very good. Caillou turned to Rosie, expecting her to be very upset. He was surprised to see she was so happy. I'm glad you boys admitted to your mistake. But Rosie found the other animals you made. And I think she loves them even more than the poodle. Aminals! <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I like your aminals. They're very inventive. Thanks. Look, Rosie, this one's a hippopotamonkey. And this one's a lion noodle. <laughs> Caillou and Leo had learned an important lesson. It was much better to own up to their mistakes and tell the truth. <coughs> oh no, not again. Caillou's neighbor, Mrs. Howard, was cleaning up her cellar. It wasn't an easy job. 
the Lightning Ball Express. Oh, hello, Mrs. Howard. Come in. I hope you don't mind, but I brought over something special. I think Caillou's going to love it. Hello, Caillou. I have something to show you. The Lightning Ball Express. It's a perfect scale model of a coal-fired train, complete with caboose. Choo-choo? That's right, Rosie. A train. An electric train. It was my son's favorite toy when he was growing up. Why, I hadn't seen it in years. Wow, it's great. I know what. How would you like to borrow it for a while? Really? Yes, please, Mrs. Howard. Thank you. Caillou was very happy. He couldn't wait to try out Mrs. Howard's train. <laughs> All aboard! Choo -choo. For the rest of the day, Caillou sent Mrs. Howard's train traveling all over the house. <laughs> Uh-oh, there goes my train of thought. Does the conductor want a snack? time with Mrs. Howard's train. All aboard! Attention! The Caillou Express is pulling into Gilbert the Cat Station. <gasps> oh no! Mrs. Howard's train! What am I going to tell Mrs. Howard? Caillou was very upset. He had broken Mrs. Howard's train. He didn't know what to do. Caillou, is everything okay? I heard a noise. Everything's fine. I was just, uh, making up sounds for the train. Uh, Chris Smash, Crunch, Blam. <laughs> okay. Caillou wanted to make sure Mrs. Howard never found out about the broken train. He knew she'd be very upset. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing? Uh, I'm not doing anything. Well, then, I think you've spent enough time indoors. How about a trip to the park for some fresh air? Okay. Caillou was having so much fun on the swings, he forgot all about Mrs. Howard's broken train. Hello, Caillou! <gasps> that was a close one. Caillou didn't want Mrs. Howard to find him because he didn't want to explain what happened to her train. Hi, Caillou. I was hoping to run into you. Look what I found for the train set. A cattle car. Uh, thanks. Oh, that was odd. Yes, indeed. As Caillou and Mommy walked home, he worried they would run into Mrs. Howard. All right, Caillou. What's this all about? Why are you hiding? Hiding? I'm not hiding. Caillou! I found another piece to add to the train set. A water tower. Oh, well, isn't that nice, Caillou? Now, where did he go? 
That's the second time he's done that today. I wonder what's wrong. Is it something I said? Caillou, can you come out here, please? Mrs. Howard and I would like to speak with you. Oh, hi, Caillou. I hope you don't mind. Uh, Ducky and I are just having a little soak. <laughs> hi there, Caillou. Uh, I, I don't mean to pry, but is there something the matter? I broke your train, Mrs. Howard. Oh, the old Thunderball Express. Broken again. I'll let you in on a little secret, Caillou. My son broke this train hundreds of times. I became an expert on how to fix it because it got broken so often. So don't worry, Caillou. Accidents happen. <sighs> I'm so glad you're not upset with me. Me too, Caillou. But if anything like this ever happens again, you need to ask for help. Rather than covering up your tracks. <laughs> I'll head on home and fix this up right away. Uh, All aboard! Ah! Caillou was glad he wasn't hiding from Mrs. Howard anymore. Because Mrs. Howard was a fantastic train conductor. Woo -woo! Caillou had gone for a bike ride with his daddy. <gasps> Look! A kite! Can we go see Sarah? Sure! Let's go! Hi, Sarah! I like your kite. Thanks, Caillou. It's a Chinese kite. It's made of bamboo and rice paper. Rice paper? <laughs> yeah, but you don't eat it. Did you notice the kite has a dragon on it, Caillou? Yeah, I like dragons. Do you want to fly it? Me? Sure. Is that okay, Daddy? Of course. I'll go and put our bikes away. <gasps> oh, no! Come back here! Whoa! Ugh. Are you all right? Oh, no! Your kite! Oh, I hope it's not broken. felt terrible. He didn't mean to ruin Sarah's kite. I'm sorry, Sarah. I didn't mean to break it. I know. <sighs> Accidents happen. Maybe Daddy can help. Daddy! Be careful, Daddy. I'll be careful. Just a little further. Uh, got it! Is it really, really broken? I'm afraid so. Caillou? Caillou felt responsible for breaking Sarah's kite, but he thought he knew how to fix the problem. I know it's here somewhere. to the old kite. Oh, I see. What a shame. 
It's all my fault, Mommy. Can we please buy Sarah a new kite? Please? I've got money. Well, that's very thoughtful of you, Caillou. Yeah. Thanks, Caillou. I'm sorry, kids. I called the toy store, but they're all out of kites. But I broke Sarah's kite. I have to get her a new one. Maybe we can make a new one, Caillou. I'm sure I could find some instructions on the internet. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Caillou wasn't so sure. He didn't think a homemade kite would be as good as a kite from a store. Doggone glue. How are those pictures coming along? <laughs> Look, it's a princess. Nice. Do you like my scary dragon? Ah! <laughs> He's not that scary. A dragon and a princess. Now that sounds perfect for a kite. Bring them here and we'll get started. Okay. Caillou wasn't quite as excited as Sarah. He was afraid a homemade kite wouldn't turn out very well. Can't we call another toy store, Daddy? Maybe another store will have kites. This kite is going to be great, Caillou. You'll see. What do you think? Caillou was amazed. Their homemade kite had turned out very well. I like it. It's windy. Let's see if it'll fly. Okay. I'll help you. I'm right here, Caillou. Something looks different. Oh, I think I see what's wrong. The string is tied to the wrong place. You're right, Sarah. Here, let me fix it for you. No glue on my fingers, I promise. There, that should do it. Give it a try. Thanks, Daddy. Thank you. Okay, Caillou, let's go. Caillou could hardly believe it. Their homemade kite was really flying. Look at it go! Yay! All right! Caillou, Sarah, good news! I found a toy store that sells kites. We could take a look if you like. No thanks. This kite's great! Yeah, here Caillou, your turn. Caillou and Sarah loved their new kite. It was much better than the kite from the store because they had made it together. Bye, Mommy! Caillou was very excited. He was having Leo and Sarah over for a special play date. Now that you're all here, what are you kids going to do? Do you want to play in my backyard? <laughs> Murphy likes that idea. So do I. Me too. Caillou, over here. I'm open. Hey, Murphy, that pass was mine. <laughs> Looks like a squashed pumpkin. I guess we'll have to find something else to do. Do you want to toss a disc? Sure. But let's be quiet so we don't wake up Murphy. Throw 
it to me! Throw it to me! Wow! You're really good at this! Nice catch, Sarah! Ugh. You! Oh, no! Daddy, can you get our disc? Sorry, Caillou. I loaned our ladder to a neighbor. Looks like you'll have to find something else to do for a while. Caillou looked around the yard, but there wasn't a toy in sight. Um, I know. Let's play with the toys in my room. I've got sculpting clay. Yeah, and remote control cars. And tabletop hockey. Hey. Caillou had lots of exciting toys, but there was a small problem. He couldn't get into his bedroom. What's wrong, Caillou? Sorry, you can't come in. I'm painting your room, remember? Oh, I forgot. But I just wanted to get some of my toys to play with. All of your things are packed in boxes right now, Caillou. And there's paint everywhere. You'll have to wait a little while, okay? Okay. Sorry, guys. No modeling clay. Or remote control cars. Or tabletop hockey. That was nice of you to fetch your skipping rope, Sarah. Yeah! This is fun! Playing with Sarah's skipping rope was ideal. Until Murphy awoke from his nap. <laughs> and decided to join in the fun. No, Murphy, no! Murphy thought this was a fantastic game. <laughs> Murphy? <laughs> Good dog. I got it! Oh, no! Oh, dear. Looks like we're going to need a new skipping rope. That's the third one this week. Caillou was feeling frustrated. His play date was not turning out how he'd hoped. Come on, okay. Hi, kids. Hi, Mommy. Is it okay if we look for something to play with? Sure, but I don't think you'll find much down here. Aw, just gardening stuff. I found some tennis balls and sticks. <sighs> Whoopee. Rubber gloves. Caillou and his friends looked around, but all they found were odds and ends. It seemed there wasn't anything to play with. What are you doing, Mommy? I'm opening up old cans of paint. I plan to mix the colors together to make a new color for your dresser. <laughs> As Caillou watched Mommy, he suddenly had an idea. Maybe we can make up something new, too. Like a new game, with all the tennis balls and sticks and stuff. Yeah, okay. The kids worked very hard at creating their new game. We can each have our own ball. And special sticks. Oops. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get it right. I must say, this is going to be one interesting playing field. Looks like we've got our goalie. <laughs> no, Murphy, that's not for you. Caillou and his friends were now ready to play their game. They even had a name for it. Yay! Fun ball! <laughs> Whee! I'm in the lead! <laughs> no, I'm not! Murphy! <laughs> Anything can happen in fun ball! The only rule is to have fun! <laughs> Whoops! Sorry! I've got your ball! <laughs> Caillou! 
I finally have some toys and games for you. Thanks, Mommy. But we don't need them anymore. Our new game is lots of fun. Well then, I'd better let you get back to it. Come on, let's play. A he scores! Goal! Nice one. <laughs> Murphy! That day, Caillou and his friends had lots of fun together. They didn't need toys or games. They made their own fun. <laughs> nice spaceship, Leo. Thanks. My mom bought me this cool marker. It glows. Really? Yeah, but it only glows in the dark. You have to see it at night. Caillou was intrigued. He'd never seen a marker that glowed in the dark before. Can I borrow it? Uh, I don't know. I really need it. I'm supposed to make a special birthday card for my grandma. Please, I'll bring it back to you tomorrow. Well, um, okay. Just don't forget. Promise. <laughs> Caillou was very excited to try out Leo's marker. He could hardly wait to see how it glowed in the dark. There. Cool. Not dark enough yet. Caillou, dinner time. Caillou knew that dinner time meant it would soon be dark outside. Then the marker would really glow. Coming, Mommy. I'm glad you like your peas, Caillou. But slow down. You must really be hungry tonight. Uh-uh. I'm in a hurry. What's the rush? I can't wait for it to be dark. <laughs> Did you hear that, dear? Caillou's in a hurry to go to bed tonight. Bedtime? <laughs> no. I borrowed Leo's marker. It glows in the dark. I'm going to try it out. I bet it's really glowy. I have to admit, that's a pretty neat marker. And a very nice drawing. Thank you, Daddy. It is pretty glowy. <laughs> Don't forget to give Leo his marker back tomorrow. I won't. Come on over here. <laughs> hey, Caillou. Can I have my marker back? Oh, no! I forgot it! But you said you'd bring it. I'm sorry, Leo. I'll bring it tomorrow. What if you forget again? I need it. I haven't made a card for my grandma yet. I'll remember. I promise. Hey, do you want to help me build a tower? Okay. Caillou, don't forget. Forget what? Caillou had already forgotten about his promise to Leo. My marker. You promised to bring it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Caillou wasn't sure how he'd remember to bring Leo's marker. Mommy, how do you remember things? Remember things? Well, sometimes I write them down. Like my grocery list when we go shopping. But what if you can't write? Well, I'd probably draw a picture to remind myself. Yeah. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He'd draw a picture to remind himself of Leo's marker. Aha! Uh -huh. I won't forget. Hey there, Caillou. How about a quick game of soccer before dinner? Yeah, okay. Bye. Did you bring my marker? Oh no, I forgot again. 
in. Caillou, you promised. I'm sorry. I drew a picture to remind me. I put it on my dresser, but I didn't see it. You need to remember. I know. I'm sorry. I'll bring it tomorrow. I triple promise. Caillou felt really bad. He wanted to make it up to Leo. Here, Leo. You can have some of my stickers if you want. Thanks. I can use them on my grandma's card. When I make it. Remember to clean desks. Caillou needed to find a way to remember Leo's marker. And seeing Miss Martin stick a reminder note to her desk gave him an idea. Leo, can I have one of my stickers back? How come? I have an idea to help me remember your marker. <laughs> Caillou, time to get up. I don't need a straw. <gasps> Leo's marker! Leo, I brought your marker! You remembered! Now I can make a card for my grandma! <laughs> if I remember. Now you'll remember. <laughs> Thanks, Caillou. Leo was happy to borrow Caillou's sticker. And Caillou was happy to have a way to always remember something important. Caillou loved spending the day with his grandma. He especially loved looking for treasures in her attic. Oh. <laughs> Grandma, look! I'm a magician! Abracadabra! Let me fix this up for you. Caillou was excited about being a magician. He wanted to do really amazing things. You look very dashing. How about practicing your magic outside while I do my yard work? Okay. This is certainly making a mess on the lawn. Abracadabra! They disappeared! Hooray! They certainly have. Abracadabra! Flowers grow! I think this kind of magic doesn't happen right away. Plant magic takes a long time. Do you think you could make a lunch disappear? Yes. Grandma, would you like a banana? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Abracadabra! <gasps> it disappeared! What a good trick. I know another one. I'm going to turn this soup into mush. Abracadabra! Bravo! Caillou knew lots of little magic tricks, but he wanted to come up with something really amazing to show everyone. I'll throw this in the garbage for you, Grandma. Uh-uh. That's not garbage. But it's all gushy and yucky. I need it for my garden. Your garden? Come on, I'll show you. Is that a 
garbage can? No, it's a composter. I put in food scraps like fruit and vegetables and breadcrumbs and eggshells. But no meat and no dairy. That means no cheese or milk. I throw in grass clippings too and a little water. It must be really yucky in there. Ah, but that's the surprising thing. Inside this composter, all the messy, gooey stuff turns into something totally different. Like a magic trick? <laughs> yes, it is rather like a magic trick. Would you like to see what it turns into? Yes, please. It's dirt. All those things turn into dirt? It's not dirt. It's called compost, and it takes weeks and weeks to happen. A composter makes compost. That's right. Compost is nice, rich soil that helps my plants to grow. It's like plant food. Wow! And by putting food scraps into my composter, I'm sending less garbage to the garbage dump. That is the best magic trick ever! <laughs> it sure is. Caillou couldn't wait to try this magic trick out himself. Caillou, what are you up to? I'm going to show you the best magic trick ever. Potato skins, bread crust, corn, but no cheese. That's dairy. <laughs> Nessie! What kind of magic trick is this, Caillou? I'm going to change everything all of this yucky stuff into plant food. Oh, we need to get a composter to do this trick. Hmm, I'm not sure why, but okay, Caillou. very hard for weeks and weeks, but everything looked just the same. He was starting to think his magic trick wouldn't work at all. You're doing wonderfully, Caillou. Just remember, plant magic takes a long time. Better give it one more month. Okay. Caillou waited for a whole month. It seemed like days and days. 30 days, to be exact. Yeah! But the wait was finally over. Come on, everybody! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Caillou was very excited to show everyone his big magic trick. But he was a little worried, too. What if it didn't work? It's time for the best magic trick ever! Turning food and grass and leaves and water into compost. That's plant food. Abracadabra compost! Caillou hoped he wouldn't find just gooey food in there. Ta-da! How wonderful! Hooray for Caillou the Amazing! I didn't really do anything. Sure you did, Caillou. You worked especially hard to make this trick work. You really are Caillou the Amazing. For my next trick, I'm going to use my new compost to grow flowers. Caillou felt proud. It had taken a long time to perfect his plant magic, but it was worth it. Rosie were having lots of fun playing with their balloon. <laughs> I'll get it, Rosie. <laughs> Mommy, 
What are Daddy and that workman doing to our tree? Daddy and Mr. McFarlane are cutting it down, Caillou. Cutting it down? But I like that tree. Tweet? I like that tree, too. But remember when we had that big storm? I'm afraid our tree was damaged when it was struck by lightning. Caillou did remember. The thunder was very loud, and the lightning made the sky very bright. Now the tree needs to be cut down so it won't fall and damage the house. But what are they going to do with the tree? Well, we'll use some of it for firewood. But where are all the birds and squirrels going to live? Caillou was upset. He didn't want to see the old tree come down. Rosie, on the other hand, thought this was all very interesting. <laughs> Tweet fell down! Phew! That was good exercise. Why the long face, Caillou? Caillou was feeling a little sad about the old tree. Oh, I see. I know what'll cheer you up. I'm going somewhere special today. And you can come with me while Rosie has her nap. Caillou liked the idea of going somewhere special with Daddy. Can Rexy come too? Sure. I don't see why not. Rawr! <laughs> We're almost there, Caillou. The tree farm is just around the corner. Tree farm? I didn't know we were going to a tree farm. <laughs> I didn't even know there were farms for trees. Yes, it's kind of like the nursery where Mommy buys her plants, only they grow many big trees there. Are we getting a new tree, Daddy? We'll see. Here we are. Caillou was surprised to see so many trees. There were trees in every size, shape, and color. <laughs> now it really feels like we're in a jungle, Rexy. Can I help pick out a tree, Daddy? Of course. Come with me. What kind of tree are we gonna get, Daddy? Hmm, well, perhaps one that provides some shade in the summer, so we'll have somewhere cool to sit. Can we get one that the birds and squirrels will like? Sure. Trees make great homes for wildlife, and they help clean the air that we breathe. What do you think about this one? It has an interesting shape. Caillou wasn't sure this was the right tree for their yard. What do you think, Rexy? Rexy and I think it's too small. Hmm, okay, something bigger. How about this one? It's an oak, another kind of deciduous tree. Deciduous? A deciduous tree has broad leaves like this one. They'll fall off in the fall and grow back in the spring. It'll lose a lot of leaves, Daddy, because it's a big, big tree. Hmm, that's true. Maybe we should find something a little smaller. This one's a paper birch. See how the bark around the tree looks a little like paper? Do you like it? It's too papery. Daddy showed Caillou many, many trees, but none of them seemed right to Caillou. How about one of these, Caillou? This is the one, Daddy! This is the one! A maple tree, just like our old one. It's perfect. Excuse me, sir. We'd like to take this tree, please. That's great. I'll be right over. I like your drawing, Rosie. Oh, look, Rosie. Daddy and Caillou are back, and they brought something special home with them. Ugh. Look, Rosie, our new tree. Where are we going to plant it, Daddy? We'll find a nice spot for it in the backyard. We've already got the shovels ready and the wagon. What do you need my wagon for? We're going to give the tree a ride to the backyard so we don't have to carry it. It's very heavy. Caillou liked the idea of giving the tree another ride. This will be the second wagon ride for our tree. First in our car and now in my wagon. I think this is a good spot. The tree will have plenty of room to grow here. Can I help you dig? Dig! Rosie, too! <laughs> okay, but I have to warn you, digging is hard work. We like hard work, don't we, Rosie? Rosie, dig! 
Arr, mateys. Let's dig then, and maybe we'll find buried treasure in these parts. <laughs> Woo! Digging is hard work. It sure is. But we're ready. Yay! Uh, there. Now we need to fill the hole with soil. Caillou, Rosie, you can help bring the soil over here. Caillou liked the sound of that. He and Rosie loved playing in dirt. Look, Rosie, I'm a truck! There. So, what do you think, Caillou? Do you like it? Yes, I like it. With a little water and sunshine, this tree should grow up big and strong. Like Rosie and me. That's right, Caillou. You'll all grow up together. Caillou suddenly noticed he wasn't the only one who liked their new tree. Look, birdies. They like our new tree, too. The birds couldn't agree more. Caillou's new tree was a wonderful addition to the yard. Caillou was always learning interesting things at preschool. Today he was learning about water. Water falls from the sky as rain. But where does it go after that? It waters plants and flowers and trees. Right. The rain sinks into the ground, it waters plants just like Caillou said, and eventually runs back into lakes and rivers. Then it evaporates and rises up where it collects in clouds and gets ready to... Fall down like rain again. Right. Wow. Whoa. What do we use water for? Drinking. Taking baths. Brushing our teeth. And washing dishes. Yes. We use a lot of water every day, but it's important that we try to use less water so that there will be enough for all those who need it. People and animals and even plants. Caillou really wanted to try to use less water at home, but he wasn't sure how to do that. Miss Martin, how can I use less water? We're going to talk about that on Monday. Why don't you think about it over the weekend and see what ideas you can come up with? Okay, I will. Bye. Bye, Caillou. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Rosie, good job. Hi, Daddy. What are you doing? I'm just washing the lettuce. No, Daddy, don't. No, Daddy. Miss Martin says we should use less water. Well, she is right about that. No, Mommy. Don't turn on the water. What? We're saving water. No, Mommy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, Gilbert. No water. Go ahead, Gilbert. You can have a drink. Gilbert is thirsty, Rosie. Sorry, Gilbert. I've got to wash the lettuce so we can eat it. I think you're going to have to think of another way to save water. Okay. Thinking of ways to save water was harder than Caillou thought it would be. I'm going to save water by not taking any more baths. I know you're trying to do a good thing, Caillou, but you still have to take your bath. Maybe I could stop brushing my teeth. <laughs> no, but we could save water by not filling the bathtub as much and by turning off the tap while we brush our teeth. Mommy, the tap is dripping. So it is. Thank you for telling me. You know, we can also save water by fixing that leaking tap. Not very much water. It's just dripping a teeny tiny bit. It's not such a tiny bit when you add up all those drops. I've got an idea. 
Why don't we collect the drips overnight and see how much water a dripping tap wastes? It'll be an experiment. Yeah, okay. The next morning, Caillou was very excited to see how much water was in the bucket. Whoa! Mommy, the bucket is full! And that's not all. I emptied it two times during the night into this bigger bucket. The tap dripped all that water? Wow, that's a lot! All that water would have just dripped down the drain and been lost. So by fixing this little leak, we can save that much water. Which we can use for washing the floor, or the windows, or filling Gilbert's water dish. Maybe our other taps are leaking too. I'm going to check and see. Hmm. Caillou, come inside. I think the sky is leaking. Caillou thought Daddy was right. The clouds were dripping water just like the leaky bathroom tap. Then Caillou had a wonderful idea. What are you up to, Caillou? I'm saving water. Lots of water. The rain stopped. There you go, Gilbert. Caillou, what a clever idea that was. Wow, look, Rosie. Collected lots and lots of water. So, can I use this water to water my plants? Mm hmm. And can I have all my pots and pans back? <laughs> yeah. You know, Caillou, instead of using pots and pans, we could get a really big barrel to collect rain in. Yay! <laughs> Daddy and I went and bought a rain barrel just like this. We put it in the backyard, and the next time it rains, the barrel will fill right up with rainwater. That's wonderful, Caillou. What a very smart idea. Daddy says we can use the rainwater to water our garden and fill our wading pool and the bird bath, too. Wait a minute. Miss Martin, the tap is leaking. We need to fix it because it's wasting water. Why, Caillou, you're right. We'll have to get that fixed right away. Thank you. Caillou was very proud of his ideas for saving water. Every little drop adds up. Everywhere, but he couldn't find his special shirt. Whoa! Caillou, I spent a long time putting those clothes away. But, Mommy, I need my art shirt for school today. We're doing paper mache. You mean that shirt? You found it! I laid it out for you last night, Caillou. You can tidy up later. Now, hurry up or you won't have time to eat the special breakfast I made for you. <sighs> Rosie had been up all night with a bad cough and the sniffles. <coughs> and that meant Mommy had been up all night, too. <sighs> oh, these pancakes should make you feel better, Rosie. What should I make with paper mache, Mommy? Maybe a lion or a dragon. How about a dinosaur? Mommy.
Bradley was sure Caillou would like his special dinosaur pancake. But Caillou barely even noticed. Yeah, maybe a dinosaur. Or maybe a... Bunny! <coughs> no, Rosie. I don't want to make a bunny. Uh, oh, poor Rosie. I wish I could make you feel better. What are you going to make, Caillou? I was going to make a dinosaur, but I changed my mind. Now I'm going to make a bunny for Rosie. She's sick. Can I make a dinosaur? Sure. <laughs> Goopy! <laughs> That's it. Take the newspaper strips, dip them in the glue, and then stick them to your balloon. <laughs> Ew, yuck! Caillou began working very hard on his paper mache bunny. He knew Rosie was going to love it. Everyone, we'll let the paper mache dry overnight, and tomorrow we'll all paint our animals. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, I think I'm catching Rosie's cold. Ready for bed, Caillou? Uh huh. And all my clothes are picked up, Mommy. I guess they are. Caillou was so excited about his bunny, he didn't notice how tired Mommy was. Wait till you see it, Mommy. I gave Rosie's bunny long ears, and I made whiskers with pipe cleaners. It sounds wonderful, Caillou. I hope Rosie likes it. Oh, dear. Look at your art shirt. Can you clean it so I can wear it again tomorrow, Mommy? Please? I'm going to paint Rosie's bunny. Okay. I'll see what I can do. If you promise not to throw your clothes on the floor again. <laughs> I promise. Rosie better? Mommy, where's my... Art shirt? It's right here. What do you say? <laughs> I stayed up late last night to wash it. Thank you! What a wonderful blue bunny, Caillou. It's for my sister, Rosie. Well, I'm sure she's going to love it. Caillou felt proud. He couldn't wait to bring his bunny home to Rosie. I think someone is almost better. Awesome. Oh, that sounds like your big brother. Oopie. Rosie, I'm home! Caillou was excited to show Rosie his surprise. Look what I made for you, a bunny. Can you play puzzle? Caillou was disappointed. Rosie barely even looked at her bunny. Look, Rosie, it's a bunny. Hi, Rosie. I'm a bunny. I like eating carrots. Yum, yum. No. Puzzle. <laughs> but Rosie, see? He has whiskers. And I painted him blue. You like blue. <laughs> bunny money. What's wrong, Caillou? You look a little down. I worked hard on Rosie's bunny, and she didn't like it. People don't always realize how hard we work to make them happy. Why don't you help me with dinner? You can wash the carrots while I peel the potatoes. Okay. All done. Good job, Caillou. Now, you can mash these boiled potatoes. Making dinner is hard work, Mommy. It sure is. 
It's also work to pick up clothes and wash a favorite shirt for a certain someone. Caillou never realized how hard Mommy worked to make him happy. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome, Caillou. And by the way, I think Bunny is beautiful. Where are you going? I'm gonna be a good little bunny and put away my clothes before dinner. <laughs> this was Caillou's way of saying thank you, Mommy, for all her hard work. Caillou's family loved going for bike rides, and they took very good care of their bikes. Especially Caillou. Rosie Wash? No thanks, I like doing it. Don't wash that. Oh, now my head's gonna get all wet. I think Rosie really wants to help. Isn't there something she could do? Um... You can wash the handlebars. Just be careful. Good! I'll get another towel. It. Rosie, sorry. She didn't mean to, Caillou. But Caillou was too upset to listen. All he knew was that Rosie had scratched one of his favorite things, and he didn't want it to happen again. So he decided to take back everything he had let Rosie play with. to knock. <laughs> now she can't sneak in. Caillou felt better, knowing that all his toys were safe from Rosie. Then he remembered something. <gasps> I have toys in the playroom, too! You don't touch mine, okay? Okay. Ooh, thicker. Can you take? You're giving me this, but it's your best sticker. Thanks, but you should really keep it for your sticker book. Oops, 
I'm out of tape. I'd better get more. Flashlight, mm, garbage bags, tape. Caillou, there's something a little different about my guitar. Is there anything you want to tell me? I broke it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I tried to fix it. <laughs> yes, I noticed. It's all right, Caillou. Just let me do the fixing next time, okay? Okay, but aren't you mad? No, accidents happen. When Rosie scratched my bike, I felt really mad. How do you think Rosie felt? She probably felt really sorry. I think so, too. So, would you like to learn how to change a guitar string? Yes, but can we do it later? I have to do something. Sure, Caillou. I won't take it. Rosie, I'm sorry I was grouchy about my bike. Accidents happen to everybody. Even me. So, you can still play with my toys, okay? Okay! Do you want to play with my tambourine? Tambourine! Tambourine! I think that's a yes. And if you still want to give me that sticker, I thought of a really good place for it. Okay. All gone. That looks great. It sure does. So, who feels like a family bike ride? Me. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Caillou and Rosie were happy again. They had learned how to forgive one another. Rosie was having a wonderful tea party in her room when she heard <laughs> giggling. <laughs> Rosie had no idea why Caillou and Andre were laughing, but she wanted to know so she could laugh too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen to this one. <gasps> <laughs> 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 that was even louder than mine! <laughs> Funny noise! Caillou and Andre thought Rosie was going to ruin their fun. Come on, Rosie. This is big kid stuff. You go back to your room and... <gasps> <laughs> that was the best raspberry ever! I never knew you were so funny, Rosie. I'll get it. It's probably our dinner guests. Just in time, too. Caillou, Rosie, time for dinner. Wow, that was fast. You must really be hungry. I'm setting the table, sweetheart. What would you like to drink with your dinner? Milk or apple juice? <gasps> <laughs> Grandpa and Grandma are here. Are you kids looking forward to having dinner with them tonight? <laughs> Although Caillou thought Rosie's raspberries were very funny, <laughs> Mommy and Daddy did not agree. Mm-hmm. Seems like the kids have learned something new today. Yep, and I'm not sure I like it. Grandpa! Grandma! Grandma! Grandpa! <laughs> Hello there! We've been looking forward to seeing you. So, did you kids have a nice day? <sighs> <laughs> Uh, so you didn't have a good day? 
We had a great day. Andre and I showed Rosie how to blow raspberries. <gasps> <laughs> See? Mm. Children, there will be no more raspberries at the dinner table, thank you. It's not proper. <laughs> that night, Caillou was still giggling, thinking about Rosie's raspberries. Good night, sweetheart. Love you. <laughs> Caillou, I think we need to have a talk. Blowing raspberries can be fun, but sometimes it's inappropriate. Inappropriate? Inappropriate. That means it's not how we'd like you and Rosie to behave. It seems to me you're encouraging your sister. But raspberries are funny. Doesn't that make it okay? There's a time and a place for everything, honey. Even funny stuff. Blowing raspberries is fine when it's just silly fun between friends or brothers and sisters. But most other times, it's impolite to make rude sounds, like raspberries. Do you understand? <sighs> okay, kiddo. Time for bed. Don't forget, tomorrow's the big open house at your preschool. Open house. Right. <sighs> Good night. Caillou was very excited to show his family around his preschool. Come on, over here! Welcome. I'm so glad you could make it. We're just about to showcase some of our students' artwork. Isn't that right, Caillou? Uh-huh. I made a special painting. Me too. Hi, Leo. Welcome to our preschool's open house. You're welcome to take a look around the classroom, but before you do, I'd like to show you some of the artwork the children have been working on. Oh, wow. nice. Oh, my. Ooh. Caillou was so very proud to see his painting on the wall. He couldn't wait to show it off. That one's mine, right there. Ooh, wow. It's beautiful, Caillou. I love it. What do you think of your brother's painting, Rosie? Rosie's raspberry funny, especially not Caillou. Not this time. Sweetheart, we're sorry for laughing, but we weren't laughing at you or your painting. Nope, just Rosie's raspberry. We thought your painting was terrific. Nobody even got to see my painting. They were too busy laughing. <sighs> you were right. Sometimes raspberries are inappropriate. I have to talk with Rosie. <gasps> Rosie, you have to stop blowing raspberries. Sometimes they're rude. You hurt my feelings tonight. <sighs> I'm not mad. Just don't blow raspberries anymore, okay? No more? No more funny noise? No more noise. Well, maybe sometimes. When it's just you and me acting silly, okay? <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, Rosie. Let's go play. Caillou had realized there was a time and place for everything. <laughs> Even blowing raspberries. Too sticky. Caillou and his daddy were having fun building a model solar system together. Do we 
have all the planets, Daddy? Hmm. Mercury? Venus? Earth? Mars? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Yes, we have them all. Daddy! Rosie hungry! Okay, Rosie. I'll get you a snack. What that, Caillou? We're building a solar system for show and tell. It's a model showing all of the planets, Rosie. The planets that are way up in the sky, like the stars. This is our planet, Earth. Rosie wasn't very interested in the planets or solar systems. She was more interested in the bright round balls on the table. <laughs> Ball bouncy! Rosie! Come back here! Yay! No, Rosie. These balls are mine for my model. They're Caillou's, Rosie. I'm sure you can find something else to play with. <laughs> we can't have any planets missing from the solar system now, can we? What would you like for a snack, Rosie? Maybe some cheese and crackers? Mmm. There we go. Thank you. Mars? Then Earth? What about you, Caillou? Would you like a snack? Yes, please. I'm hungry. I guess so. It's hard work building the universe. Rosie had no idea what Caillou was talking about. She didn't know anything about the planets. You know, the little red ball? Where is it? Rosie, no, no. I know you took it, Rosie. Give it back. Rosie, do you have Caillou's little red ball? <laughs> yes, she does. It's probably in her pocket. That's my car. That's my keychain. <laughs> you sure carry a lot in your pockets, Rosie. Are you sure that's everything? No ball? No ball. But I know she has it, Daddy. Rosie is always taking my stuff. It's probably in her room. Caillou thought he saw something underneath Rosie's bed. Dust bunnies. Ah! Oh, it must be somewhere. Caillou really wanted to find his ball. He wanted his model to be perfect for show and tell. I can't show off my solar system without Mars. Daddy even said so. We can't have any planets missing from the solar system now, can we? It's got to be here somewhere. Caillou knew that little red planets didn't just disappear into space. I know. It's probably in the living room. How's it going, Caillou? Any luck finding Mars? No, my model is ruined. Couldn't you use something else for Mars, Caillou? Like what? I don't have another red ball. This is all Rosie's fault. I know you're upset, Caillou, but blaming Rosie isn't going to help. And it isn't going to solve your problem. Hmm, what if you color a white ball red? with one of your markers. Caillou thought about this for a moment. He really wanted to bring his model to show and tell. I guess it could work. 
Caillou's new planet wasn't quite as nice as his first one, but he was pleased nonetheless. So, what do you think? I think it's great, Caillou. It's sure to be a big hit at preschool. Miss Martin will love it. Yeah, it is pretty good. Patty cake, patty cake. <laughs> Caillou noticed something moving underneath the curtains. He wondered what it was. Gilbert? <laughs> My ball! Caillou suddenly felt terrible. All this time he had been blaming patty, Rosie. Patty and it was Gilbert who ran off with Mars. Rosie, bouncy ball. It was Gilbert who took it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blamed you. Are you mad at me? Rosie, help me. Well, I'm glad to see you two making up. And now that you have your ball back, Caillou, you can attach it to your model. No, I have a better idea. I want Rosie to have it. Here, Rosie. <laughs> Thanks, Caillou. Rosie was pleased with the ball, and Caillou was pleased too. He had said, sorry, and he and Rosie were friends again. <laughs> Caillou was enjoying painting a picture when... Mmm, snack time! Emma? It's not snack time yet, Caillou. You still have time to finish your artwork. But Emma's eating her snack. Emma has permission to eat extra snacks throughout the day. Extra snacks? Caillou didn't think it was very fair that Emma got to eat snacks when he didn't. I have diabetes. What's that? That's a good question, Caillou. I think it's time to explain it to the entire class. Children? Gather around for a moment, please. Emma's parents have asked that Emma and I share something with you. Emma recently found out that she has type 1 diabetes, or juvenile diabetes. It's a kind of illness that some children get. Illness? Oh, no. Now, you don't have to worry about getting diabetes from Emma. It isn't contagious, like a flu. You can't catch it from others. What is diabetes? Well, everyone has sugar in their blood. But sometimes Emma's blood doesn't have the right amount of sugar. So Emma measures the sugar in her blood with this machine. She takes medicine, and sometimes she needs to eat extra snacks. It's so I don't feel dizzy or tired. Right. Now, any more questions? Can we have extra snacks too? <laughs> I'm afraid not, Jay. But we'll have group snack time in a little while. Right now, you can all go back to what you were doing. Miss Martin made everything sound fine. But Caillou didn't feel fine. He was worried about his friend, Emma. Oh, Emma, you forgot your sweater. But I don't want it. But you might catch cold. You should wear it, just in case. Um, okay, thanks. <laughs> Space Captain to co-pilot, are you ready to land? Ready, Captain. There's Planet Mars. Let's go. And... Hey, where are you going? The planet's this way. Are you dizzy, Emma? Maybe you should come down. Uh, I'm fine. I'm pretending the slide is a big mountain. Oh, well, I can hold your hand when you come down the slide. No thanks. I can go by myself. Woo! That night, Caillou was still worried about his friend. Mommy, did you know that Emma is sick? 
No, I didn't know that. I'm sure she'll feel better in a few days. But why don't you make her a get well card? Okay. Hi, Emma. I can carry your bag for you. No, that's okay, Caillou. But you shouldn't be carrying anything heavy. Let me. Um, thanks. You can carry mine, Caillou. And mine, too. Hey, thanks, Caillou. Whoa, whoa. Here, Emma. I made this for you. But it's not my birthday. <laughs> I know that. It's a card to make you feel better. Thanks, but I feel fine. Oh, well, that's great. Caillou was very pleased. He thought since Emma was feeling fine, she must be all better. Now, arms up, reach high up to the sky on your tippy toes. Good job. Emma, it's time for your snack. Caillou was confused. Emma had said she was fine. So why did she still need to have extra snacks? Okay, children, now down, down, and touch your toes. Emma must still be sick. It was lunchtime, and Caillou was once again feeling a little worried about Emma. Do you want my chicken noodle soup? No, thanks. I have my own lunch. Caillou was disappointed. Chicken noodle soup always made him feel better. Okay, class. Just a quick reminder. After lunch, we're going to have our track and field afternoon. Yay! Track and field! <laughs> okay, you two. Are you ready to race? Caillou didn't want to race against Emma, knowing she wasn't feeling well. I'll win for sure, and that'll make Emma feel even worse. You should run real slow. Okay, kids. Caillou had vowed to run very slowly until he saw Emma speeding across the grass. Emma, wait up! Hooray! It's a tie! You sure don't act sick. Sick? I'm not sick. But you've got type 1 dia... something. Type 1 diabetes. It's not like a cold or flu, Caillou. It's just something I have to live with. Every day? Uh-huh. Every day. See this pump? It gives me my medicine so I feel well. I check my blood sugar level a lot. And the snacks help so I don't feel dizzy. As Emma talked about all the things she does to take care of herself, Caillou began to feel a lot less worried. Do you feel dizzy now, Emma? No. Then I'll race you again! <laughs> okay. Caillou was happy that Emma could still do fun things. She had to live with an illness, but she could still live a full and energetic life. Caillou was having a very busy morning. Mummy had lots of things on her to-do list today. And Caillou and Rosie were helping. After they put away the groceries, they did the laundry. Thank you so much for helping, Caillou. What else is on your to-do list? The next item on my list is running through the sprinkler. Yay!
lunch time. Where's my other sock? Mommy, I can't find my other sock. I looked everywhere. We'll look for it after lunch. Now, where is that pot holder? I'm sure I had it. Ah, come wash your hands. Finished. Someone's got a milk mustache. <laughs> It was just by your chair, wasn't it, honey? Where did it go? Everything's disappearing. My sock, the pot holder, Rosie's puppy. You're right, Caillou. It's very strange. I can hear Rosie's dingle puppy. <gasps> puppy? Shh, Rosie. Listen. Under the couch. Is Dingle Pup walking around on his own? No. <coughs> Gilbert took him. And the pot holder. And my sock. <laughs> Puppy. So that's where everything's been disappearing to. You've gotten your claws into them, haven't you? <laughs> he sure likes scratching things. No, Gilbert, shoo! Ow. Okay, who wants to go to the playground? Me! Let's find you a new pair of socks before we go, Caillou. Let's go, Mommy. I need to find my house keys first. Gilbert, did you take my keys? Hmm, something tells me you did. Not under here. Where did you put them? I don't think Gilbert took your keys, Mommy. No? He took the sock and the pot holder and Dingle Puppy because they're all soft and he can scratch them with his claws. Your keys aren't soft. That's very good thinking, Caillou. You may be right. But then, where are my keys? I know how to find lost things. You have to go backwards and look in every place you went to. That sounds like a good plan. Can you show me how? The last thing we did was have lunch. Follow me. <laughs> Rosie, go backwards. Now we look. Not here. No. So where were we before lunch? Outside. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Are my keys in there, Rosie? No. They're not out here. Where to now, Caillou? Before this, we were in the laundry room, taking the clothes out of the washer. Why, that's right. Follow me. No keys. Nope, not here. Before this, we were in the kitchen putting the food away. But we already looked there. Before that, we brought the groceries inside. No keys here. I know I had them when we came in because I used them to open the door. I still think Gilbert took them. Oh, Gilbert! Oh, Gilbert! I know you didn't take them. Caillou decided to keep going backward and look in the very last place Mommy had her keys. them in the door. Oh, what a silly thing to do. Oh, Gilbert, you didn't take my keys after all. I'm sorry. Mommy, can we give Gilbert my old sock to keep so we can scratch it all up? He really likes doing that. <laughs> I suppose so. You're 
welcome. Pig out now? Yes. And off we go. Caillou had done a terrific job helping Mommy find her keys. And Gilbert wasn't to blame. This time.